Hey y'all, it's your girl Tate from Fat Girl World and my hair is being deconditioned in two ways. I am not promising another series or whatever because I'm just not going to do that because it don't never pan out because I'm not consistent enough to do it. But Anyways, I digress. This is Fat Girl Stories. Okay, so. This night before I went to bed, I ate a banana and some chocolate chip cookies. So. And some meal. Some water with some meal in it. So. It's not like I didn't know that I would have some kind of dream, crazy dream. It's just, I didn't think it would be just, I don't know. So anyway, I'm traveling all around in a Corvette. And then, and I hate Corvettes because it's like, it's going to tear up my hair. Insects might fly into my face. My eyes will be, my contacts will be dry. Like I don't like, I don't like Corvettes just generally. Not Corvettes, convertibles, the the ones with the tops let down. So, um, anyways, um, just like traveling around, and then I decide to go somewhere, and it looks like France, it looks like New York, it looks like Philadelphia, all mixed in together. So. I'm at this hotel and then I'm hanging out with the chick from Love Jones with the big hair. I don't know her name. And like Joan from Girlfriends and who else was it? I think it was like Chili from freaking TLC. Either way, I'm hanging out with them. Because I was just walking along and I was on the phone trying to ask somebody like, do you know anywhere cool I could go to? I got this really nice hotel and I just want to kind of, and then I was walking past them and they were at some kind of coffee shop. And then they um, <clears throat> were like, oh, well, you know, we know some nice places. So like we were all hanging around and then the remainder of the dream was me totally just going down this strip of restaurants but it was like all wood it was like wood like a strip mall but it was like wood it was nighttime and then when you got to the very end of it it just went off into blackness like there was just darkness but there were like street lamps and then each one each door had like a different restaurant in it and <clears throat> that one restaurant was like a soul food restaurant and we had like this um sassy gay waiter and he was the only waiter there for some reason. And it's like 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, I don't want to eat at the at this soul food buffet. So then we go out and we go to this sandwich shop. And it's not, it's, it's closed. So then we go to this gay buffet. It was like a gay buffet, like, I don't know, it was like a gay club, and they had a buffet, and it was like a bunch of food, and then the people who were putting the food on the buffet were fabulous, and I was like, oh, it's just too much fabulousness on the buffet, I think it might cost too much, plus I don't kind of want buffet food, I want something different. So, we left the gay buffet, and everybody was like, bye, and then we walked into this Mexican restaurant, and it was, like, so dim, and there were all these Mexicans, like, eating, not Mexicans, but all these Spanish people eating Spanish food, like tacos and shit, and then I walked in, and the dude that was apparently the owner didn't speak English, but I know how to say I want tacos, and I want beef a la besa. So, I was like, um, I want tacos. And he was like, how many? I was like, cuatro, cuatro tacos. And then, and then, he cut this light on, 
and it was like a fluorescent light and it lit up the restaurant and there but everybody was like sitting there eating in the dim light because apparently he was about to close i don't know what that was about and then we left there and i was like well we might as well go back to the first soul food cafe so we went back there and then uh turns out that the chick from love jones the sassy gay waiter had stole her boyfriend or something i don't know and then like they was having beef and i was like oh that's why you wanted to come here you could have told you could have started all that beef after i ate because i'm hungry and so the gay dude uh the gay sassy gay waiter was like um i don't got time for this i'm only i'm the only bitch up in here working i ain't got time to fight with you and so we kind of ate and stuff and chili didn't want to eat nothing she was like Oh, they got pork, and we don't need to eat pork. So, anyways, we left out of there, and then they just walked off into the darkness of the night. And I went, and there was this beautiful park that had all these cherry trees that were like, um, it was like the wind would blow, and then like all the white petals would fall off, the white and pink petals would fall off the cherry trees. And then I met this man there, and he was so beautiful. And he was like, I was like, you want to come back to my hotel with me? He was like, no, I want to go have a cup of coffee with you. And that's what we did. And then I woke up. And that was a weird dream. Hmm. So bananas and chocolate chip cookies will get you. Anyways, you know how we do it. <laughs> You're a fat girl, world. <laughs> One love.